now we will have uh, around 10 to 15 minutes of uh, question answer session and uh, i request member uh, entrepreneurs to get their queries and uh, concerns answered by our chief guest and uh, other uh, uh, experts on the dais uh, mics are available and uh, if you raise your hand uh, mic will come to you Sorry to interrupt. Uh, I request all the media people to collect you, sir. Uh, you had referred to uh, the aspects of uh, only 7 to 8 percent of employment by the uh, corporate sector and the public sector, and the rest is based on organized sector. Uh, being a safety professional, the question to you basically is that you're looking for growth within the budget in terms of the aspects of industrial growth services growth and agriculture growth and lots of funds are named. So what is the government's initiatives which are being put across? Really important efforts to bring in a safety culture in terms of going to be brought in in terms of the so-called event factory act which was last year in 87 after the Pobal tragedy and what are the other acts which we are still dating back to the 1900s hundreds I would say whereas we have the overall the growth rates are in terms of because till the time the human capital is not channelized, you are not able to achieve this particular thing. And entrepreneurs are going to grow to a different level without any close views. Regarding the skill development, you know that uh, as I mentioned that the average age of this uh, country is now around 28-29 and uh, what we call as a demographic dividend. And the yearly accrual to the labor force, the addition to the labor force is very high. So the employability is also very important, so skill development. The formal training for the persons to equip the people and to enhance the employability by creating product to skills. This has attained a serious proportion and our Honorable Prime Minister from the very beginning has taken this subject very seriously and in this budget also skill development is uh, taken up very seriously. And skill development it is not only the industry which has to take uh, their responsibility but the government has uh, taken up it seriously and it has created a separate ministry. Now it is in the process of integrating all those things and coming out with the uh, details. And the coming years, this five years, this skill development, because that is going to the, be the game changer for the Indian economy. The game changing aspect is the very important thing is the uh, skill development. So in this, this government is coming out with a lot of details. And another point is ease of doing business also discussed in this budget. And our Honorable Prime, Prime Minister and Finance Minister also have declared it in coming years. You know, he, even Prime Minister has declared that uh, I would like to dismantle every day one act, which is uh, working as a roadblock. So ease of doing business is going to be the parameter for the performance of this government in coming years. So, the, both these aspects I have not in my presentation, but uh, a very important thing. And uh, uh, this government's performance is going to be just this front. Thank you. Social, social, social and economic development. Thank you. But there is no budget allocation. But there is no. So, my name is Shandrakan, and I am the element organizer. From past decade of year, I am saying the budget. There is no any allocation for differently able people. We are coming from we the, the people are unable to educate themselves. But they are doing tremendous things. I myself am into entrepreneur. But there is no any perfection budget able to community people. It may be deaf, it may be blind or anything in the sector of in, uh, infrastructure or any sector. How you define that thing into a priority? of this budget and further things. These kind of things. For example, gender issue is uh, still at not adequately addressed. 
Women entrepreneurs, women contribution to the economy is very significant. You go for the city planning, even if, when you go for the roads and other constructions and public utilities construction. And our leadership has to become sensitive or what we call uh, planners should be sensitized. Definitely this uh, aspect needs more attention. There are a number of other things which I have already told the mudra issue. If you go and see the vegetable vendor, the rate of interest with which is a lady, a woman is accessing is 180-200%. So, as we grow, as we become sensitive, as we become conscious about all these things, all these sectors, then we can say, this country has a balanced approach or a progressive outlook. So your question is, uh, mm, you know, it should, it should be taken in that context. Excuse me, sir. Uh, no, the, the other things are also not fully addressed. So you can understand the entrepreneurs belonging to this uh, particular category. The first question is, uh, you said there is a mudra project which is going to support SMS. We already have agricultural loans where farmers are where farmers are actually taking loans, uh, keeping their uh, land as a collateral. But banks still have a lot of NPAs and banks are really afraid of giving loans to agricultural farmers. And how are you going to give the confidence to the banks? from the small vendors, where they do, do, even do not have anything to keep as a collateral. That is the first question. The second, second question is, you have been promoting such work in a very big way. I see a lot of advertisement, a lot of uh, thing everywhere in, about such work. But I don't see any budget promises about this such work. Yes, sir. To the banks. So, I would like to say I have got a lot of experience about the alternative banking models. You know, when you say collateral security in the form of land, that is the only assurance you expect. That is a one, one model. And there cannot be another thing or another model is what the inability of the banking breaks to come with the alternatives. There are number of number of uh, alternative practices all over the world and also in the country. Don't think that this inefficiency, I am calling particularly as inefficiency. You know this inefficiency is because of the people who are working and who do not have the collateral, so they have to suffer. What is the venture capital do, is doing? You know, you cannot uh, think that venture capital, the person who approaches the venture capital organization should have the collateral and then only he can, mm, you know, get the access to capital. It is not the thing. There are a number of ways in micro credit, micro finance, all over the world is a successful idea. There are number of models where 93%, 95% repayment is taking place. So in my view, if you are able to, then if that is not so, why private money lenders are successful? It is not that if banks are not able to give, so banks are not there. Why informal banking is there? Why traditional banking is there? Why they are successful? What is making them successful? So we have to study and understand and model our products in such a way. The, this kind of, you know, single uh, linear approach is not going to help us in coming days. So there are successful models and it is possible. That is the reason this mudra 
बिफोर टेकिंग अप दी होल थिंग दे हैव स्टडीड एग्जॉस्टिवली एंड दे हैव अप्रोच्ड नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड देन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज टेकन ए डिसीजन टू क्रिएट मुद्रा बैंक so in my view uh, if indian planners are sensitive and interested in helping the people who are in the productive process then definitely our gdp will be multiplied otherwise then we will be you know the people who have got the collateral they only will be the part of the production process manufacturing process so we have to understand and second is uh, swachh bharat uh, this government in this budget also finance minister has spoken about that how many toilets are constructed already and how we are going to take up and how we are expecting the private sector and the private organized sector to take up under the csr and also how the uh, you know this uh, taxes are deducted if you are uh, going to donate for this mook campaign so all these things are going to be supported and swachh bharat will be the very important campaign of the present government not just sweeping here and there by the political activists it it it, it will have it will become the part of the infrastructure the uh, issue which you raised as uh, social security on that point of view in fact uh, we prefer i make the request on that uh, the budget is uh, done very well it is very balanced every budget will have some smile on somebody and some amount of uh, tears on somebody as well and this budget also has but most important thing which has social work to which i feel that i should bring it to your own is maybe it is too late to change or maybe it is uh, uh, likely to be taken up in the next budget or whatever it may be that's what actually i mean the issue is related to the hospital industry whereby we have regulatory authorities for everybody but in the case of hospital industry there is no regulatory authority and the prices are fixed by the hospitals more more so in every city it is cartelized like you know everybody will discuss the liver and then fix the prices and all so in this kind of situation where the poor people they have support from the government in form of some scheme particularly in telangana earlier it is likely to be continued like rbc or whatever it is and upon the start up they will have their own money and they will be able to do it but people like us who are in middle class segment we are compressed between the top to bottom bottom and top where it's too expensive for medical uh, expenses and all we expected that to be addressed in this budget in form of you know the social security scheme to middle class and that is to for in form of insurance whereby the representative pay some close to 26000 rupees for high tax so that kind of a situation where a retired person will not be able to afford and that was not addressed that's one issue which i want to draw the second small issue which i thought uh, should be brought to your notice is the power saved is uh, as much as power produced which everybody is uh, slow than before this budget addressed in a very small way reducing the excess component of power not a custom component to led lights i thought you know this uh, should be more pragmatically the whole A scheme should be brought in such a way that by making India campaigns is going on, the foreign companies which are likely to manufacture for next one year, they should be given total exemption for their customs as well as excess duty. Where by they put up the plant, and where by you should tell them that next three years, if you put up the plant, you will have the concession for the excess duty, and the power will be saved out of that. And I am very sure many cities are converting their street lights into LED only to benefit out of these government schemes. So I thought it should be brought to your notice whereby the middle class also will benefit alongside the government also will be able to save the power. Thank you. To uh, be able to change the budget in such a way, so certain things are for the future, and certain things are also related to the state governments. And BJP is also thinking of making itself as a strong unit in Telangana. When we become powerful and when we form the government here, definitely certain things we will look into uh, uh, such things here. And social security is the most ignored aspect in this country. When you go for the market economy, when you go for all uh, such. Uh, Frameworks. 
without creating the supportive social structure framework it becomes very difficult for the governments and it is also become difficult for the political parties to sustain their base so this time we have introduced in a big way the social security aspect and it has to be widened and also deepened so this uh, is a very important thing we need to keep uh, uh, in mind and make in india this government is uh, you know it has taken this to address many things one is uh, service sector is okay doing well but you cannot drive this economy on the wheels of service sector and sustain it uh, itself as a superior economy or establish itself as a extraordinary economy so you need to create hardware you need to create manufacturing sector vibrant manufacturing sector for example as i said for the defense manufacturing you are depending on the imports and uh, even for the computer chips or sim cards or small mobile phones and all these things the kind of market we are here now and in coming years also this uh, market is going to continuously grow in such a situation it is very unfortunate you know uh, china is becoming china is our adversary and uh, we are uh, thinking we should uh, overtake china and it has got lot of implications for us and for all small things we are depending on china and even the deities lord ganesha and all such things are also we started improve importing from the china so unless you create a vibrant manufacturing sector electronic manufacturing and also defense manufacturing in coming years you know, dependence on the foreign fuel foreign fossil fuel imagine it you can imagine you can accept because you do not have the adequate for petroleum products here in this country so depending on the uh, fuel imports you can understand but we cannot understand or we cannot afford to have the imports defense imports and also the uh, manufactured goods imports small small items so keeping the self reliance aspect and uh, the employment needs we have now taken a decision that make in india is a very important uh, focus line for this government and bjp being the um, party very closer to the entrepreneurs and sometimes it is called as the entrepreneurs party baniya party kehte hain na hindi mein to is a traders party or baniya party so we have to take care of those you know the people's needs entrepreneurs needs and also this party is also called as the middle class people's party so we cannot ignore the middle class as a, a, a important constituency where we have stakes political stakes so bjp will be in future also continuing with uh, uh, you know uh, taking care of this uh, sections interests uh, good evening sir sir the forty percent where all the middle class people have been suffered. Not only middle class, even the entrepreneurs also have been suffered because the middle class people says we don't want bill, give me it. Without bill, I want it. Which is indirectly making us uh, falling on all different taxes and everything. And the next question is regarding this uh, gas connection, gas gas building cylinder. They are taking fully nine hundred. And it all will be uh, going to in the bank. The same thing which earlier you have denied in previous comments. Note this aspect. You no, know, one cannot uh, take up the issues which are unpleasant. But you have not allowed me to go without taking up that. ultimately revenue generation is the important task for the government and government cannot target the poor and get the tax collection done so it has to uh, target the middle class people or rich people we have reduced the we have abolished the wealth tax but we have charged the super rich 
and uh, we have this question in order to really understand what is the as you know whole thing in the budget but uh, in a general way i would like to say that uh, this government is also committed to two aspects one is bringing the black money back you know if uh, we do not do that then we cannot go uh, in 2019 elections so <laughs> even people are not ready to wait till that day you have told 100 100 days and 200 days what happened so now on that front we are working second bringing black, bringing the black money back is one aspect another aspect is stopping the generation of the black money so this cash transaction without support of all other things these these things uh, in budget uh, certain things are being addressed i don't know exactly what he has asked i have to go into that and then i can only tell can anybody from the audience answer this question because it's a very important question can anybody answer this question please i don't think any of us are authorized or have the uh, what do i say the the bandwidth to answer that question anyway so <laughs> on behalf of uh, hdcf i would like to thank all the uh, guests speakers raised by uh, all the panel members